Like I said, I'm still learning how to use this stuff myself. I know regular C++, but the WX widget thing is uncharted territory for me. So I'm going to put some comments in here just so you guys can get some context here. So I have a define minimum going to put recs for requirements and and I have a set C++ standard to C++ 17 now I don't know if these versions are required here but this is what I'm doing. I said I'm going to read up on this later so I can actually know how this actually works for real, for real. And so right here I have set the path to find CMake modules. And that's literally what we're doing here with the set function. We're setting the module path. And let's see. So this is for searching for the WX widgets. Find WX widgets package. Now, if you're using code blocks or some other program, you may need to do the download and installation. But for some reason, this worked with just installing CLion on my computer. So. If you want to make everything really easy, just install CLion. It already has the GCC compiler, and it looks like it already has WX widgets built in on some level. Otherwise, there's a potentially complicated installation process that you may need to go through. So now I have define. Oh, nope, nope. This is the source file. Define the source file right here. And this says include w, WX widgets. Use file. So this just includes the file that you found. This defines your source file, which is your main CCP, which is over here. And then I have right here, make the graphic user interface compatible with Windows. And then down here is where we have we link the libraries and we add the executable. So we're going to say add executable and link WX widgets libraries. And everything should be done with comments. And this d doesn't necessarily come with comments. This is just the default test code that they give you. Let's see if we can make some sense of this. So we have the include wx slash wx.h. So we're including a header file that I assume is the wx widget. And then we have the my app class. It's uh, in public domain. And we have an on init. So let's see if we can find what they have for on init. Ah, see, we have on init right here. My frame. So this is this class. And so we're making a new instance of my frame, and it's having a show and return. So the my app is calling the on init. And 
the on init as the my frame, which gives us a hello, on hello, on exit, and on about. And so we have a wx command and event. So we're going to look at on hello, on exit, and on about. Look at that later. So on hello, we have a log message. Hello world from WX widgets. That's our WX command event on about. This is WX hello world example. So these are our message box. That's our message box right here. And then we have on exit. This just means you can close it. So if you want to add some event when they close the window, this is where you would add that. Then we have my frame is the hello world. So I believe that's the top panel right here. And this is the bottom section here. So if we were to shrink this down, you see the my frame right here is the hello world. And then the on command event is hello world from WX widgets. And if we want to see this on about, we would have to do a file. I believe you hit about, about hello world. This is WX widgets example. So that is where you're going to get this. This is the little title they give you, and then this is what it's going to say inside that message box. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that, and I might do some more tutorials on WX widgets as I find out more about how to use it myself. I, like I said, I'm learning this as I go as well, so yeah, tune in.